Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Salam sejahtera Today objective we like to solve problem of quiz number 1 which is taken from handout number 4 question number 5 Okay, so the diagram to represent the problem as shown Okay, I'm going to use symbol to represent the dimension of the structure. Okay, so a hollow cylindrical shell has a radius of 2 cm. I'm going to label it not number, I'm going to put it as A. So for me, A is equal to 2 cm. Okay. And the length of 25 centimeters. So the length of our cylinder is 25. I'm not going to use the number as well. I'm going to make it to be as L. L representing the length value is 25 centimeter. Okay. Assume the bottom of the cylinder is in the XY plane as shown here and the axis of the shell is lies on the Z axis also as shown in the diagram. The surface charge density on the surface R equal to 2 which is on this particular position, the surface. Okay, so I'm going to denote that as rho S. The standard symbol to represent surface charge density where our rho s is equal to 2.1 times 10 to power of negative 8 coulomb per meter squared. Okay. Determine the electric field intensity at the position 0, 0, 15 centimeter. So I'm going to make it a bit higher than the center of the cylinder. Let's say this position. I'm going to give it as B. Yeah, the position here as B. So make it clear. So I'm going to give this side as B. So B will be equal to 15 centimeter. So the question asks us to determine what should be the electric field located at position B. Okay, I'm going to repeat the same process that we always did when we want to solve Coulomb's law. The first thing should be which coordinate system that we should adopt. So the answer to it should be first I'm going to denote cylindrical. Okay, so we're going to use cylindrical coordinate system because of the shape of the problem. Then due to the nature of the structure where the axis of the cylinder is coinciding with the z-axis, we know that only two variables will be uh, used in this problem solving which are the variable r and also the variable z. Okay, I'm going to go to the third step now, Coulomb's law. Okay, I'm going to Coulomb's law. State that the DQ, sorry, DE, very sorry about that, should be equal to DQ divided with 4 pi epsilon naught R square in R directions. Okay, that's standard equation for Coulomb's law based on continuous source and surface charge is one of it. So now our task is to link the standard equation to our diagram. First, where should be the location of our E in the diagram? And the question insists for us to find E where? Here, at the location of the B, Z equal to B. So that already noted. So that soft already. Then we're going to go to the next step 
taking sample and sample must always reside on the charge since given in this problem is a surface charge therefore I'm going to take my sample to be here on the surface of the cylinder as such since this particular sample is not fixed can be anywhere on the surface therefore I must define the variable as general variable not fixed variable like before the position of E is fixed but now the sample position is variable meaning that E is not fixed so therefore I have to show that clearly in my representation of sample position therefore I'm going to say the height from the xy plane will be z because it's variable okay and then the angle phi also variable okay so that should be noted and therefore this should be our dq that's done okay so we're able to find our second important parameter the dq and we show it clearly on our diagram okay the next step will be the vector r so the vector r we already know is just a line joining the sample to the location where you want to determine the e so now this should be our vector r and we know that from the mathematics the direction of vector r is similar to the direction of vector de i'm going to state this line representation as vector de Okay, so now my red sample going to produce red electric field intensity because the magnitude of the sample is small, therefore it's going to produce small value of electric field. So now let's define that in terms of actual equation where our dq, remember the model of surface charge model should be rho s ds and based on cylindrical coordinate the ds should be defined as a d phi d z because supposed to be r d phi because the radius now is equal to a therefore i substitute r with the a and then a multiply d phi and then multiply the dz that should be our dq and our vector r in this mathematics should be horizontal component which is uh, negative a r plus should be b minus z z directions okay so when we substitute everything in our de okay so our de now with the substitution value extracted from our diagram will be equal to rho s a d phi d z and then should be the direction now minus a r plus b minus z z so everything must be divided with 4 pi epsilon naught then should be the magnitude of the vector a squared plus b minus z squared power of 3 over 2. Okay, and then we know that the DE actually consists of two components. The, horizon com the horizontal component which is in this directions, which is our R component and the vertical component which is in this direction which is the z term okay and from our previous discussion due to the nature of this shape whenever we have sample in this position we, we can also take another sample directly opposite to uh, the original sample the second sample which is opposite to the first sample and the second sample also going to produce its own electric field when we sum them together we know that due to the constant value of rho s 
the R component of our E will cancel out when we sum them together. So in our in other words, when we integrate, okay, finally when we want to integrate the solutions, the E we're going to end only with which component? Yes, the Z component. So therefore I'm going to make myself clear. I'm going to take the Z only. I'm going to take out all the constant rho S A over 4 pi epsilon naught. I'm going to integrate the first one now. Should be d phi. Then I'm going to integrate for the second one now, which is, should be b minus z over a squared plus b minus z squared. 3 over 2 d z okay so let's li look at the limit now so the limit referred to your diagram so since the structure is complete uh, cynical structure so the phi range should be from 0 up to 2 pi and then for the z as you can see now we can move the sample from this range to this range therefore the limit should be from 0 up to L. so when you solve this mathematics this term will give us phi then you substitute with 0 to 2 pi And then for this term, you need to be careful. You need to use table. So this refer to table, page 1, 2, 2. So we're going to have negative 1 from the table. Divide with square root of a squared plus b minus z squared. So that should be from the table. But when we look into the term inside this bracket this negative z then you integrate to negative dz so you have to add another term here negative one so therefore the limit should be from zero to l so therefore you need to substitute the z with the l and then with the zero so therefore by doing that inshallah you'll be able to solve this problem so again as you can see from this uh, explanation the method I use to solve Coulomb's law exactly the same, the process that we use when we deal with the line charge and also surface charge in our previous examples. So with that, I hope that learning EMT is just based on best understanding the concept. You cannot memorize the step because the structure might be complicated in future, but yet with the same step, Inshallah, it can be soft easily. With that, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.